going on? It's your boy, Mr. International, and we're here with the Exotic Network, and I got a very, very, very special guest. But before we get to him, we're going to introduce the man himself. You already know what it is. This is your DJ people, man. Still in here killing it. Exotic Network, let's go. Let's go up. And like I said, we got a very special guest, y'all. The man himself, Mr. L.A. Exotic. Yeah. Gustavo, big Twix guy, man. So let's go, baby. Going down. My God, yeah, pleasure. Yeah, what's going on, brother? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, man, let's start it off with a salute. Yeah, Tom has some. Yeah, yeah. In. We're gonna warm up. <laughs> it's too hard for me, brother. Everything organic, everything raw. We're gonna we're gonna tell it like it is, you know. That's what's up. That's what's up, yes, man. Sir, yes, sir. So we're gonna jump right into it, brother. Talk to me. Oh, Talk to me. Give us give us a little background of who you are as a breeder, man. Tell us about the beginning of the LA exotic experience. Well, the LA Exotic experience is definitely a life changer. You know, there's definitely some life lessons. Uh, just pretty much starting. You know, we we all we're all we all have a goal. You know, well, at least that's the way to start. You know, and obviously there's a lot of mistakes in that in that transition. And I feel like I feel like it's just something we all need to go through. Yeah, you know, it's definitely, bro. So so when did you start breeding? Let's 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 start there. Okay, okay. Why? Yeah, mm, when and why? Okay, okay. Well, I started breeding about nine years ago. Okay. Um, you know, it's just it's just a lot of things went down that year. Uh, you know, I'm just I'm just glad it happened. You know, it was definitely a life changer. Like I said, the reason why because you know it just changed the way of living. You know, we're all well, especially yes. me. Like I'm talking about myself. Um, it's definitely a life changer because, you know, we all started off, everybody got their own background. Yeah. But mine was pretty bad. And tell, tell us a little bit about that, man, if you will. Uh, yeah, get, get, you know, cause we got these youngsters out here, man. Yeah. You know, yeah, okay. yeah, we, <laughs> hey, we get the outside nitty, man. You got us this fine drink right here, man. Yeah, this is yeah, this we're this good. Good. You know what I mean? So, okay. you know, a lot of us uh, come from that, bro. Like, right. So I want you to share your story, man. Get it out okay, there. Okay, well, pretty much, you know, I come from uh, South Central, from the low bottoms, the east side. And I'm very proud to say that. Why? I mean, it's not the best neighborhood, but, you know, um, we're just, we're just happy to be here because it's just, just from coming from there, and I'm actually happy and I'm proud I'm from there, you know? What right, I'm right. Not because of the fame we have, because anything is possible, you know? Yeah, and you made it out. I made it out. I could say that because... The reason I made it out is because of the, the dogs, you know? Mm. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's you new say that. why? You say yeah. why? Because, um, you know, some things happen, and uh, thank God with a little bit of money we had, you know, after everything went down, uh, we invested in dogs. Okay. Right? And it's, How I'm, did you know the dogs was the way? Did you know? Um, you know, I felt like, I felt like, you know, everything in this is an illusion. Everything you see they show it to you a, a certain way. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They show you like, oh, everything is gravy. You finna get this money. You're gonna invest it. Mm. And they're gonna have puppies and flip it. Mm. And that's the biggest mistake that people show, you know? The I biggest think. inconception. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. exactly. So, so, so you said, you know, the situation went down, you know, right, from the right. city, a lot of us have that same background. Right. You know, uh, okay. Got mixed up in some things. Right. You know, but you knew you had to come back, hit it hard. Hit it hard. Level up, and you chose the dog gang. And the right way. Right, you know, right. The right way, and it's the most difficult way because, I mean, you learn how to be responsible. Yeah. You know, you, you get to take care of your money now because then yeah. actually, you know, you, you're putting in that work. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's not about leaving a dog in the cage and that's it. That's yeah. not what it's about. Right. You know, it's about right. spending time with them. Yeah. Taking them out to use the restroom. Yeah. Their medication, their shots and everything. It's just a transition of everything. Bro. So so what was that first initial investment in? <laughs> if we want to talk numbers, man. It was it an EV or was it what, was it a bully? Was it a Frenchie? Um it was actually it was actually the bullies, bro. Uh, yeah. Y'all yeah. heard it here first, man. And your boy, Mr. L.A. Exotic, Big Twitch Line, started with the bullies, yeah, right? Sir. But we, I'm gonna come back to that because, right. you know, I got a run-in, you know, uh, 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 point of view on 
how important the Bulldogs are, you know. Right. Well, but let's get right. back. Let's let's dive back into you know how you started, man, with the uh, with the bullies. This guy. <laughs> talk to me. Talk to me. Yeah. This guy. Yeah. <laughs> let it, let us know about that bully, man. What was that first bully that you caught? Okay, so the first bunny that I caught that came off of Bullseye Blood. Hey, Bullseye. Uh, yeah. Bullseye was really, really yeah. high in the game, you know, uh -huh. uh, Miyagi as well. Uh -huh. But I dealt with uh, Peter from the OG. Okay. Yeah, yeah, good man, yeah. bro. A uh, very great person. OG, he's an OG for oh, sure. Definitely, man. Shout out to Peter. Yeah. You know, um, he really helped us pave the way, as well as George from uh -huh. the Miyagi Bloodline. Yeah. So, you know, uh, when I invest in something, I always want... Like, if you're going to do something, you're going to do it right. Right. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. The reason why I say that, because you get so caught up in this game that you want to go ahead and um, uh, somebody's selling you a female for, like, about 3000 For the low. For the low. For the low. Example. Yeah. For the low. So, in your head, you'd be like, okay, I'm going to get this female. She's cool for the low ticket. I'm going to hit the come up. I'm going to... I'm finna breed to a badass thug, yeah. and I'm gonna ask some badass puppies. You feel me? That's what anybody thinks. Nah. And at the end of the day, you might hit, right? Yeah. But also, you gotta know the background. You gotta make sure the investment makes sense. Right, right. In what way? The bloodline, the pedigree, it was the mom, it was the grandma, how yeah. they look, how they walk. The breeder. Every, even that now. Even the breeder, bro. Yeah. Everything yeah. is genetic. A lot of people shy away from that. They think like, Oh, if I just focus on these dogs and don't really understand the breeder that bred the dog, then it's that that's a key element into right. making a purchase into that investment. And know? how it's bred, you know? Yeah. Uh, maybe a dog likes something. And right. He likes this. So I mean, there's no perfect dog out there in reality. Everybody has a defect. Every dog has a defect. And that's what we're breeding for. Every breeding has to make sense. Yeah, chasing. Everything we chasing that sense. perfect dog. Exactly. So you got nine years in the game. We're just going to say 10. We're going to say decade. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mr. We're gonna decade. We're going to give you the decade. Right, right. What's right. one thing that you could tell your younger self? Okay. Now, what would you tell your younger self 10 years ago? Right, again. 10 years ago, I would say, um, I would definitely tell myself, if you're going to get in this game, make sure your full dedication is on there. I'm saying, like, time. You know, they got to get the exercise and everything. Because when I started, I wasn't, I didn't have the right experience, the right mentor. Make sure the person that's putting you on game tells you the real story about this game. Yeah. You yeah. know? Yeah. And not. It get uh, ugly. It's not making you change dreams and making you, making an, an illusion in your mind. Um, just know that there's a lot of factors in this, in this hobby. And you get like, a lot of people. Dog, I, dog breeders are starting to look like rappers. Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> rappers are, are starting to look dog breeders. You know I mean? Right, no cats doing donuts and shit. NBA players, you know what I mean? <laughs> Football uh, players, hey, dog it's breeders. looking crazy. Everybody's a fucking dog breeder, <laughs> goddammit. Right, so these young right. kids coming in are thinking that it's gonna be just all wins, all W's. You know yeah, what I mean? Because it's, it's dope. I, we need more breeders such as yourself to be able to speak on some of those losses and speak on some of those hard times because it wasn't always like this. You know? Right. It wasn't. It wasn't. Right. So with, with that being said, like giving them that decade, you know, you would have basically your first quarter. Like, would it be safe to say this is like your second quarter of hustling in the game? You know what I'm saying? So let's talk about, you know, one of those L's in the first quarter that you took. That's pretty much like the first five years. Right. That, where right. it made you really reevaluate to say, Okay, is this what the fuck I want to do? We, you know, right. Serious. Yeah, it's really, it's really a big step, you know? Like, if you really want to do this, like, my first big L was buying a, an adult female, mm. you know? Um, yeah, the hype was there, the blood was there, everything. But once uh, we got to inseminating her, you know, the vet opened her up, and it was a complete disaster. Wow. You know? And, in, in what way? Can you, can you elaborate a little bit? Um... Just, just a little bit. Just the way she was um, put together. Yeah. You know, once they have a C-section, um, the, the word got to be quality. You know? uh -huh. so, so like it was, it was, she had already had a litter. Oh, yeah. She yeah. had, well, they told me she had two, but in reality, the vet told that. me it was, yeah, it was way more than that. Wow. Um, I, she wasn't really able to get pregnant, so I wasn't even lucky enough to even have a puppy off her head. So, so they hit you over the head 
with right. uh, you know what I mean? The, 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 the okie dog. Yeah, yeah. The okie dog. Yeah, hey, hey, man, for all you motherfuckers out there that's out there scamming these young breeders and shit, telling them they only had two litters, and then the bitch really had six. Right. And all that, fuck y'all. You feel me? Like, on some real shit, fuck you, motherfucker. So, hey, check this out. Oh, I feel it, man. It's <laughs> my heart, man. That's the homie, man. The shit so much. Hey, I'm just saying. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Hey, Yeah, basically, throughout these years, I learned one important thing is always tell the truth, you know? Yeah. If the female had two litters, if the female had four, I mean, you know what I'm saying? It's always best to say the truth. Why? Because that builds your reputation. Good business. Oh, man, this was good business. He's, he's saying the correct thing. Mm -hmm. You know, he's, yeah, and then word of mouth. I think my, my customers, and everything uh, is is uh, word of mouth, you know. Yeah. Of course, we gotta put some promotion, the full work, and everything. But word of mouth is really important, bro. That's do you know what they say? You know, you only as good as your word. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you know, you want to make sure you're standing by your word, man. And so yeah, that's a devastating ill, man. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. especially young. Is that what came from the bullies? It brought you to the EDs. Was um, it like, you know, I got yes, yes. I'm a, I'm gonna say this. <laughs> <laughs> come on, come with me. Come with that heat. Come with that fucking heat. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, man. Well, let it go. Bullies. The bullies, I love the bullies, man. I still do. They're my number one favorite breed in a way. Uh huh. Uh oh. But in a way. In a way. Do you see what it's done in? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <clears throat> the reason why I say that is because the bullies have a lot of drive. You feel me? Yeah, for sure. Have a lot of that real bully, that real pit bull behind yeah. them. Yeah. You know, even though everything got the sauce, you know. Yeah. They still got a little bully in them, like a lot of bullies sometimes. And once they lock in, they're not letting go. Yeah. You know? So pretty much that's pretty much the bias. I love yeah, I, I love I love that about the breed too, because like yeah. me myself, man, you know, I come from a background where, you right. know, my father bred pit bulls and okay. they did their thing in the back alley, if you know what I mean. Right. You know what I mean? And then we came in the XL generation, but it was that drive, that work that inside work. the dog, you know what I mean? That, that made could be it a building, building and a bad thing. But, you know, yeah, it, it could be out of learning how to control it. You gotta have the right environment. I think right. that's what I felt a lot too. Um, you say hells, that's what I felt a lot too. Environment, housekeeping, y'all. Why is that? It's not that I had them dirty or like in a little spot. Yeah. I pretty much like my dogs being loose. Uh -huh. You know, that's that's the mentality. Like, oh, this and, this and that, which is fine, but they have to have their nice section by themselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Let them be dogs. Yes. Yeah, for uh -huh. sure, for sure, that's, man. That's major right there. Environment control. Make sure they they get their exercise in and make sure they have their proper they have their proper space. Yeah. Because you know? we talked a little bit about your kennel, but we'll get into that a little later, man. Right. I want to stay right. along, you know, the storyline. So bam, we had the bad experience yeah. with the uh bully, you know what I mean? They yeah. they they scammed my guy and then so boom. What happens? Do you go back and, and say anything to the person that you bought the dog from? Like, bro. I mean, I mean, of course, we always, uh, we always go, we, we always try to go the, the professional route. You know what I'm saying? But sometimes. And so, sometimes you might have to slap the shit out of the bitch while you're pushing. You know what I mean? Go go, man. Well, I mean, I mean, I mean, sometimes it could get, it could go left. You know? And sometimes you'd be like, man, should I just learn from this experience and then they let it go? What I'm again? And that's yeah. enough of the time I try to do that because the game is so small. Everything. Everything and, and everybody enough to the light. And everything and everybody. No. So they gon' know. Yeah. They gon' know. So I just try to keep it pushing forward. You know, this is that I see. You guys not to cut you off. Right. Like, right. They don't just do bad business one time. You know what I mean? It's, it's a, a repetitive thing. They don't thing. somebody else right. Right. Yeah. And eventually the word's gonna get around. And it's gonna get, get around. around. Yeah, that's fucked up, man. That's fucked up. So you jumped into the EB, man. What's your first EB? What, what, who is it? I know, I know, I mean, but <laughs> for the people that don't know, yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> well, oh, hey, man, tell me, cause because it's, it's a lot of backstory behind this man and, and what he's done in the game. So we give him the floor, you know, let us know about that first EB, man, after the bad bully experience. Right. Um, calm down with that. Calm down, yeah, yeah. <laughs> let's talk about positive shit. <laughs> Happiness. <laughs> let's do it, let's do it. Okay, uh, well, we're gonna go way back, okay? Mm -hmm. well, it's, it's gonna be kind of a long story, but man, it's a beautiful story, you know? Um, 
so I came out, right? Um, I invested my money, right? Mm -hmm. Um, I bought this dog named Gringo. 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 Yes, sir. The man himself. Look him up if you don't know. Yes. Yes. On AKC, he's, uh, what a mug, little Gus. For those that don't know who Gringo is, what a mug, little Gus. And I guarantee he's in 80% of everybody's Merle DNA. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. So this is why. 80%. 80% of the Merle DNA. Yeah. So, Gringo. Um, <laughs> yes, sir. Gringo. And the reason why I say that, because Gringo was the first full suit, lilac and tan Merle, mm -hmm. that was actually formed in to hit California. So with that being said, now let's stop. Uh, that's a lot. That's a, lot. a, lot. That's a big statement. That's a lot of yeah. the yeah. first yeah. narrow yeah. English bulldog world yeah. to hit California, mm -hmm. right? So right. give me a, a quick view of what- And about what year was that? Uh, that was probably, let's see. It was probably around 2017. 2017, around right? Yeah. So, so what was the, the English bulldog scene like? at that time what were the studs what were the stud fees what was you know what i'm saying the hot shit on the block the hot shit before on the gringo block. came okay. up and said before yeah before okay so people wanted more of the overdone right mm -hmm. um they wanted more of the original uh texas cowboy mm -hmm. uh, cowboy right the shrinkables line yeah you know i respect all of them because they made history as well Right now, I'm not gonna take all the credit or anything. We gotta, we gotta put credit where it's due. Yeah, for you sure. can't be selfish, you know. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, so pretty much, you know, uh, we got all those. Um, Gringo had all those bloodlines. Shrinkables. He had Cowboy. Mm -hmm. You know, he had uh, Reese's Pieces mm -hmm. from Shrinkables, which was mm -hmm. the first full suit chocolate and tan off of Cowboy. Mm -hmm. That was quality. Yeah, you know? because right. there's a lot of DNA, but there's no quality. We're gonna get into that later. on. So where, where at in the game would you say the color for the English Bulldog came in? Oh, man, it's always been, it's, for example, it's like the Fluffies and the Bouchies. So people are like, what the hell? Even when the Merles came along, they're like, what? That's a genetic defect, this and that, da da da, da. You know, but people want the newest thing out. People want uh, to see something different, you know? And that's, and it's like, it's like playing uh, black and uh, blackjack. Yeah. Black, uh, in Vegas, sometimes yeah. it win. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes you know. it be like, sometimes it be like, what the hell is he doing? You right. know. And and thank God we hit we hit the vision. You know, we went with it. I got I got super blessed uh, to get what, to what, the what were the uh, stud fees around that time, man? Before stud fees. Yeah. yeah. For yeah. English, a quality English well, bulldog. Well, you know, I'm gonna make a little comparison. You know, much respect. Uh, I was like a George Soto back then. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, it was a new color. People wanted it. It was hot. I was getting five thousand stud fees, uh. pretty much three breedings a day. Oh, you know, pretty much three breedings. With Gringo, with Gringo. Wow, yeah. sir. Twenty seventeen. Twenty seventeen. Killing it, bro. Yeah. Wow. Um, dealing with obviously people like like big top breeders. You know, um, that's 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 a blessing to me because I get to pretty much work with somebody that's been in the game for a long time and that means yeah. a lot because they're trusting their hard-working money with right. me which you had obviously good business responsibility you know uh -huh. and you gotta you gotta you gotta make it happen yeah you know even when the all odds are against you you know i've been i'm pretty sure a lot of leaders could relate to this but it's pretty damn near impossible to make the cutoff in fedex so yeah. I had to rush to the traffic, bro. carpool, wow. you know, like, but we make Man. it happen, bro. That's what it's all 15, about. 15,000 a day. <laughs> Minimum, bro. <laughs> Minimum. This <laughs> man was making 15 racks. And I was making 15 a day. You know what I'm saying? I would, I would, I would have 15 racks. Hey, 2017. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, you know, we, I just had hit the base, bro. I, I think I was doing a little bit better, like in 21 or something. Hey, but check 20, this out. everything that shine is in gold, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's you talk about that, it. Let's talk about that. Okay, we're going to yeah. talk about that. So not everything that shines is gold because, yeah, I was making money, but when you don't got the proper knowledge, right. the proper experience, and the proper mentorship, uh -huh. you go ahead and make stupid investments. Right, right. So, so back then, basically, there was no business side behind 
the necessary business. Yeah, yeah, I, said, I was wish. just young, getting it, fresh off the block, oh, like yeah. new moves, new like yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, jewelry. Yeah, what a lot of people are doing now. Hey, respect to everybody. Everybody got their own flavor, you know? Uh, um, but yeah, I thank my wife a lot, Laura. Yeah, I thank her a lot because shout out to the missus. Yes, shout missus out to took Laura, my lady. head. Um, yeah, so I met Laura and she was a key, just a key person in my life. Mm -hmm. You know, the reason why I say that is because she was, yeah, she seen the vision. She always supported me. You know, she's a, she's a dog person too. And sometimes she smells more dog than me. And you know, and, that, and that's, that's, that's very key. Man. Like yeah. to have a great woman that, that supports and sees her vision just as much as you can support her and see right. her vision. Yeah. That's yes. a blessing. You don't get that. It's a big man. blessing for you know, a lot of people, man. I know it's hard, like your wife may be not into it like that, but you know, just try to talk it out, like try to try to get her in the dog and try to make her see your vision. And just remember when somebody's supporting your vision, that's already like a big thumbs up. And mm -hmm. you know, you're finna go a long way. You know, yeah. that's 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 important. That's huge, bro. So um yeah, I admit I was making a lot of money, not the right mentorship until like my wife, she told me, Hey, you know what, Gus? The dog game is cool. I was investing crazy money in mm -hmm. females, mm -hmm. and and it was sometimes it would work out, and most of the time it didn't work out. Most females you got in your yard at once. Yeah, yeah, it was it was it was hectic, you know. How many? We we'll put a number on it for. Um, I, I had like about twelve elite females. Ooh. I'm saying elite. I'm talking about quality, you know. Quality. Oh, That's when I made all that mistake and bought the cheap ones for the low. Yeah, and I just cleared up my mind. Like, hey, breeding is about experience. Yeah, you know, and, and I like only, that. The only way you have experience is by going through all the BS mm -hmm. and you just sit back and be like, man, OK, this is what I'm doing wrong. And it, yeah. it's always good to sit back and and know where you're messing up, mm -hmm. because even to this day, a lot of breeders make mistakes and I'm one of them. Yeah, everything is a lesson, you know. No, it's definitely it's a lesson. Mm -hmm. For sure, for sure. So we don't got necessarily, quote unquote, no specific like business plan behind it, but we know that we can't yeah. keep making, you know what I'm saying, these same mistakes if we want to right. sell in the game. So we got Gringo hitting exactly. the scene, hitting the you scene. know what I'm saying? He's blowing up. He's taking all the stud credits. I don't know, West Coast. Are you going to shows at this point? Are you showing oh, up man. to shows yeah, now? Gringo is shows. And it's, it, uh, going to shows is one of the key ingredients for success in this game mm -hmm. because people get to, most importantly, uh, I mean, it's important to see the dog, but most importantly, to see who you're dealing with. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm, I'm going to give you a quick rundown. There's a beautiful dog in X place, right? Right. Amazing, bro. Like, quality, everything is beautiful, uh -huh. right? So I deal with this guy, and it was probably the worst experience of my life. Uh -huh. So he ended up scamming me, and, you know, you always try to go the best route. And then you'd be like, you know what? I'm better than that. I yeah. believe a lot in karma and I've helped out a lot of people. And I felt like God has blessed me with that good karma. Yeah, you that's what's up. So now, now is another lesson Yeah, I get to deal with the right people now. So, so let's talk about the shows a little bit, the show right. aspect. So, yeah. So what West Coast Bully Expo, shout out to George. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my guy, George, man. Big team of see shit, you know. But we over here with the LA Exotic crew. LA Exotic. You know what I mean? Oh, what up? Uh, what up? Uh, <laughs> what up? Uh, <laughs> Cut some digging the vibe to it there, boy. We get into that later. Uh, what um, expo was it? Was the one when you busted in the scene with Gringo and Oh man. What what expo was that? That was probably what number two, two or like three. three. Yeah, like two or three. Two or three, four. Did you yeah. hit that one? Oh man, yeah, it was a movie, bro. Yeah, we had videos. Um, that's when the Merle was popping, you know. Yeah. So we had two booths, and it was right by the entrance, right there in the orange show. Yeah. And it was people were having a difficult time even yeah. passing through there, you know. Yeah, yeah, but I thank God that show went down. There was a lot of exposure. Uh, people need to invest in their setup and go to shows. And if you really want to come out and show the world what you got, the Bully Expo is a place to be.
West Coast Bully Expo, February 18, 2023. I already know we're gonna be in there. <laughs> we're gonna be in this. So, so, so we at the West Coast Bully Expo, right? With the with the bulldogs, the men, you know what I'm saying? At the hour, is there a lot of bulldogs on the scene at that time, or is it just a selected oh, few of uh, breeders? So I like to say it was like it was like a virgin uh, time to be with the bulldog the huller. So there wasn't no really no competition, mm -hmm. right? And 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 I was just pretty much the just scene. I was the highlight of the of right. the scene. Pretty so that turned out to be yeah. like the best move, you know, uh, transitioning from the bullies to the bulldogs. Not for necessarily any specific like breeding reason outside right. of a fucked up experience. Right. 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 I mean, I, mean, I don't know. You took the hey. knowledge that you got from the yes. Game. Hey, but check this out. Applied though. it to the bulldog game. Yeah. Check this out though. The bullies. I invested a lot of money too, and uh, I made a lot of money too. Look, I sold to Thailand for forty grand. Mm. I sold to China for sixty. Mm. Like it was a blessing as well. It wasn't all bad, yeah. bro. Right, I made right. I made beautiful dogs. So bro. how how long were you in the bully game before you transitioned? Man, to I, was, I was a good like a good three and a half years. Okay, so you yeah. already had. Oh yeah, I you was in that motherfucker. Like, yeah. I actually won. I actually won more. Mm. Than, than than what I invested and that wasn't the important thing. The right. most important thing that I that I won in that time was knowledge. Yeah, that's knowledge. Key. That's priceless. Exactly. That's priceless. No, that's priceless. For sure. So we at Expo man and, right. and you got this this Merle Ooh. English Bulldog on the scene. Yeah. Nobody knows about it. Expo's just blowing up. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. So what was your thought process at that point? Like what did you see? Like how did how did your vision appear to you once you realize like damn I'm here it's nobody else here but me and everybody's going crazy, man. Oh, it's it's just it was so much to to just absorb to take in at the time because growing up where I'm from yeah. nobody really gives you props like that, South Central. They yeah. want they want they want you to be like like the statistics. Yeah. You know? So now that you blow up like damn my boy made it yeah, like it, it was. I get more love from the people out of town, from the people I don't know and I never met, than from my own city. That's what they say, you man. No, which is fine because they don't see the vision. Yeah. Now, uh -huh. tell me, like, oh, this boy's crazy. He's spending racks on dogs. Yeah. But now they see the vision and it's going good for me. Mm -hmm. Now they're like, yo, Gus, hit me up, bro. Hey, hey, let me know what's up. Uh, let me invest with you, bro. What I got to do. Right, you know? right, so, right. I'm pretty sure that's what a lot of breeders, they don't, people don't see the vision until it's, it's already said and done. Was, were there a lot of people that you reached out to like family wise and that you were like, hey, I'm finna jump into this game. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and it was yeah, like, uh, hey, I'm even the this day. Uh, I have cousins and everybody, it's nothing bad working a nine to five. Yeah. But I'm trying to show people that there is money in it. I know. But you have to do it the right way. Right. Okay, because a lot of people tell you there's money in it and they sell you a lie like how we talked about in the mm -hmm. beginning. And, and and that's not how it goes. Myself, if you invest with me, I'll tell you, look, this dog is worth this much. And if you really put your dedication and mind to it and we hit it right, we're going to make this. But you need you need pretty much the you got to focus on it. You got to focus on that. You have to pretty much put your effort to it. Effort. Remember that effort. Facts yeah. and facts. Yeah. No. So, you know, is, is there anybody else outside of the wifey, like any relatives that's a part of it? Because you look at the L.A. exotic uh, brand. Right. Right. And uh, you you see you see a lot of uh, kennels these days. They're doing a franchising and and branching off and other people will take on the name of the initial kennel. You know what I'm saying? But you don't see a lot of L.A. exotic. You know what I'm saying? You just this is like the staple like. Yeah, you know, everybody got their own. Uh, everybody got their own way of seeing things. You know? Right. Um, I don't have nothing against no uh, franchises or anything like that. Uh -huh. But me myself, like I take pride on what I do. So I pretty much, for example, I have I have tons of partners, a lot of co-ownerships, right? But I let them shine. Like, bro, you finna use my blood? Like, you shine, my boy. You put in that work. You know, mm -hmm. just like mm -hmm. I put in my work. Yeah. yeah, you finna buy my blood, but I want you. So go ahead and and pretty much bring out your investment. Make sure that you care about your investment. Make right. sure your investment hurts. Right, right, because right. Because you're finna shine. You're gonna make it. You're gonna make it happen. Yeah. You're gonna make it. Crap. And not necessarily just trying to build off of yeah. 
the brand that you already right. feel because that's what a lot of people do in the game right now. You know, they want to just attach their stuff. Like, let me go buy a dog. Uh -huh. And then now I get to be LA Exotic, Mr. Hey. International. Hey, there's nothing hey. wrong with that, but everybody hey. got a different point of view of things. Right. But at the end of the day, you still got to put your work in. This coming in, trying right. to take a shortcut is going to lose a Right. Shortcuts is an L. Shortcuts is an L. Tell us a little yes. bit about that, man, because we were talking about it, but right. let's dig a little deeper from your okay. point of view. Okay, my point of view, the shortcuts is definitely an L. Why? If you buy a top quality steam out, let's say for 20, 30,000, that's perfectly fine. You got the bread, so you finna invest, right? Mm -hmm. But if you're, like, I, like, like I've been saying throughout this interview, if you're not gonna... If you're not there 24 hours, if you got somebody depending on it, on, on, on like just pretty much somebody taking care of your investment and they're not all the way focused and see the right vision, you're pretty much going to have a lot of bumps down the road. Right. So right. if you're going to invest in a franchise, invest on a badass bitch, you know, which I, I truly suggest like investing on a super nice female because you get to take that shortcut, but make sure you take that shortcut and you invest time and effort to it. But it's not really considered a shortcut. It's just right. the difference in the game. I mean, right. everybody could buy a dog. Yeah. Right. Are you really a breeder? Right, right. You're right. really finna go get the sacrifice in? Uh -huh. You're you really finna miss out on, on special events in your life? Yeah. Like yeah. You yeah. miss out on birthday parties yeah. because your female's pushing at 3 in the morning, right. uh, 10 in the night? Yeah. You know, yeah. you gotta be built for that. Yeah. For real, not built for that, don't try it. For sure. That's real, man. Yeah, uh, that's real. That's somebody... That's something that nobody's gonna tell you. Facts, but me. My thing, my thing is like this too, bro. You know, because we've said it a lot. You know, we throwing it around. We say quality, quality female, and then we yeah. throw these high numbers out here, right? But like, we got to keep it in perspective. You know what I'm saying? We keeping, uh, uh, we talking to a demographic where you know everybody ain't got 30k. You know what I'm saying? Everybody That's ain't got okay. 30k to spend. So That's that perception okay. of you know, if you unless you spend 30k, you won't be considered a top quality breeder. Is not necessarily true because with the time yeah. that you put into, yeah. you know, let's say you bought a female for 5k. Exactly. You know, but, but, but we talk about yeah. Fact, you know? mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So pretty much the reason why people spend big money is because you're valuing people's work. Right. People's work. Years of work. That's what you're paying for. Time. You know. Mm -hmm. and excuse me. That is the killer's hit. Yeah. Right? <laughs> I'm ready for it. Another one. That. Uh, so mm -hmm. my boy. Yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. yeah. Oh, I bet. We're going to get to a rebuild. Get up. Oh, yeah. So the reason why you're um, paying so much, why I'll be paying so much is because you're paying for quality that's been worked on. Right. You know, that's what that's the shortcut. That's what the shortcut is about. Yeah. But even right now, like, I'm not trying to invest too much in dogs, but I invest in dogs. Right. right? And um, I've been working my way up. So I, I bought a beautiful female off my boys from our uh, Rango Micro Exotic. Mm -hmm. Look them up, y'all. Shout out to Rango Blood. Uh, my boy Ellie, you know, he's, he's holding it down with the Rango Blood. Mm -hmm. So I bought a badass female off of them, right? Mm -hmm. I bought them for a good ticket and I invested with the best. Right. You know, right. That's what it's about to better <laughs> read. If you're going to do a breeding just to get some puppies and, and just, just try to hustle them for the right bag. Like, that's not the way. You got to invest correctly and genetically. Mm -hmm. So I bought that female and I bred it. I, I invested my money with somebody that's good people, yeah. which is George from the Bully Camp. Shout out to George. Uh, uh, he let me uh, use Lemon Drop. Mm -hmm. you know, I paid the fee. You got to pay the play. You know, I got a yeah. female off of there and I bred to the to to crown. All right, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Fast, hold on. We moving fast, man. We we jumping, we jumping towards. You know, we go, we go dig a little bit more into that. That's like, you know, what I mean? we talk about first quarter, man. Right? Hey, yeah. We talking about bullies. Hey, hey. <laughs> no, no, no. Hey, y'all gonna take that? Listen, look, I'm looking at y'all. Look, take the stigma off of Mr. International. Whoa. I am a dog breeder. I breed bullies, Eagles, Frenchies, Dobermans, Rockwilers, Pitbulls, Cane Corso, Poodles, Yorkies. I mean, I mean, I got it on my resume. <laughs> but just to let y'all know, we've been doing this. So we in the first quarter of Mr. L.A. Exotic himself, Gustavo, man. So we gonna stay there. We around. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, 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 Expo two. It's going down, the hottest world in the game. 
You know what I mean? 15K a freaking day minimum. It's going down. You know what I'm saying? Minimum, so know? tell me about that first production that you made that really shit that line. Gringo, you know what I mean? Man, let me tell you, bro. Like, we were talking earlier in this uh, interview that one of the best uh, studs out there was the cowboy line, you know? Yeah. You that cowboy line. Day. Crazy. That original Texas cowboy blood. Yeah. Always hit, bro. Why? Because it was a standard bloodline uh -huh. that I actually threw out standard-looking dogs yeah. with a little color. Yeah. So check this out. I buy this female, right? Uh -huh. Obviously, I invest properly now. I invest carefully, you know, throughout. What was the experience. ticket on a female back then? In 2018, the ticket on a quality English bulldog female. What are you spending? Um, okay, for this female, I spend about 12000 and mm. yeah, my cousin, shout out to Ace Montana. Oh, mm. Lord. That's right. Yeah. yeah, so uh we spent we spent the 15 bands, all okay. right, and we got a bad ass direct cowboy dotted. Here's the thing. Let, let me let me cut it off right there. Here's the thing. You might have color, but then you don't have quality. Right, structure. So sometimes you gotta exactly structure, the tail, compact, everything. So I feel like I felt like we bought the right female because it has some color in it mm. and it also had the the, the structure, the quality, right. everything, bro. Every, they had everything. Right, right. So, obviously, Green Gold, he's one of the first murals out there that actually looks like an English Bulldog. So, what do we do? Better the breed. Yeah. The more color you have, the less quality you have. That's why with the Lilac Tribe Bullies, right. like, like at first, they didn't look all that. Nah, you have to do a little saucing up, you know, yeah. a little, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah. Thing. So, it's the same thing. And, wow. And, and we created... The one and only Mr. Twig. Mr. Twig. Yes, sir. So, hey, before we jump in on that, man, before we jump into that, you know, if this is a monumental time in the game because mm. Twigs is so influential, man, and, and I know we're going to go ahead and, and have our run on that, but right. I want to stick a little bit more on Gringo right now, right? Gringo, yes. We're talking 2017, man. Like, right. around that time is when the the bully game started to really like get smaller like they went from the the standard to the pocket to the mini then yeah. you got the nanos so in 17 we're coming out of the auto pocket fuse. minis all right so i want to ask this question i want to ask this question you said you said you go answer look already how many bully breeders came to Mr. Green on himself. Oh man. Oh uh -huh. uh, shit, that's something uh, uh -huh. is very, very classified. Yeah. Um the reason why I say this is because I I like to take pride in customer service, okay? <laughs> So once they tell me yeah. that they want to bring the direct babe daughter, yeah. the direct Miyagi daughter, yeah. and so and so and so to my boy, I'm like, okay, that's fine. That's fine. As long as you give me what 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 you want, I mean what I say, yeah. right? You pay me my stutter fee. Yeah. And we keep it confidential. Yeah. And up to this day, right now, 2022, about to be 23. Uh -huh. There's a lot of murals out there that come from my bloodline. <laughs> Best but shit is fucking hot up in here. Y'all heard it first right here <laughs> on the Exotic Network with the motherfucking man himself. You know what I'm saying? LA Exotic, man. A lot of that mural out there. Yeah. Uh, came from Mr. Gringo. Uh, Gringo, man. Yeah, big Gringo, big Gringo. shout out, man. It's an honor for me. And, and, and it's an honor for them to trust my boy. And I yeah. keep it confidential. A lot yeah. of big breeders. And that's how I got to be. Right. You know? And I respect that. They respect me that I respect them. And that's how we're going right. to it. And so this is the reason that I do that. See, a right. lot of people probably wondering like, damn, why does Mr. International make this such a controversial uh, uh, statement? Because it's like, I want to take the individuality from each different breed away from, quote unquote, the culture as a whole. Like, it's respectable if you breed, you know, bullies or Frenchies right. or EBs, whatever you're breeding, it's all good. But as a culture, we're one because at some point yeah, yeah. in the game, we've needed each other. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So why segregate like, oh, this dude is the bully guy. Uh -huh. This dude's the he white. We're all breeders. This is what we do. This is the culture. You know what I'm saying? So right. that's why I like to pinpoint that the fact. Word. You know, it's a culture. 
yeah. culture is a way of living. Is at the end of the day, it don't matter if you're dark, light, purple, green, uh -huh. everything we do it for the, I hope we do it for the right reason. Yeah. Well, I do. Yeah. But ha are, are they doing that? Right. It's not about the money. It's the, for the love of the breed. Yeah. The you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, 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 it's to create the next new thing. Right. The attention, the pretty much joy, the joy that brings to people and they actually want to meet you like, damn, my yeah. boy, that's you? Mm -hmm. You produce this? Uh -huh. When I have people flying in from England, and I got people flying in from Brazil. I'm right. like, when, I'm sorry for my land, when the fuck would I know, I, right. what I knew, somebody would have flew in from another country and met me and say, it's a pleasure to meet you. Yeah. My name is so-and-so, and I come from the other side of the world, and I can't see a dog. Yeah, that's it's wild. Like, that's big. Like, what? Excuse Coming man. from South Central, hey, man? Come like, from South Central LA, man. What's up, LA? Let's go. From South Central LA, man. Got LA shit, man. That's, that's right, man. Fun, no LA exotic, man. LA you know exotic. what I'm saying? So, so where the name comes from, from LA, because, hey, when they ask me, hey, where you come from? I say it proudly, I come from LA. That's right. The deep, deep LA. And <laughs> hey, you know, I was going, man, we on we on one. I was just been leaking to that man like. So when when did the uh the name come about? Did that come about once Gringo produced Twix off that uh, cowboy female? Or was that uh when Gringo was around? When did that name come about? Um, well people never know me. Uh -huh. you know, and and that is that is a good sign because they knew my dog. Right. So they never knew the dog came from me with uh -huh. the Gustavo Alvarez, hey. Uh -huh. So um, once they found out they came from me, like, hey, you know what? You need something that represents you. So I've never really had a kennel name until like four years after, well, pretty much when Twix came out. Gotcha. Like, you know what? Hey, yeah. this is turning very serious. This is your life. Uh -huh. Now let's take it to another level. Yeah. And the next level means leveling up, People is knowing who you are. Yeah. And that's why I'm here with Mr. Internet. Hey, my guy, man. It's always, bro. Always, bro. Always, man. You're making me feel great. Exotic network, bro. Yeah. Yeah, I know my man. And good people, man. And making it happen all the time. Yeah. My yeah. boy set up. My boy. <laughs> yeah, my boy uh, setting up, setting up right. Um, yeah. We fixed the environment for them. And once again, this is a lifestyle. It's not about the money. It's the love for the, for the breed. It's yeah. the love for what you do. And this is a perfect example. You see, this is this is me. This is uh, uh -huh. Mr. Twix, you know. It's not something, it's not something that is it's just one day I want to do something now. This is a lifestyle. So let's go into it right here, right? Right. So we got Gringo, man. Yeah. When when does Gringo stop working? At what age was Gringo when he stopped working? Uh he was probably uh four years old. At four. You know, obviously we're not here to abuse any dogs. So uh, once I felt like, hey, you know what, uh Gringo can't can can um throw out any sperm and they give me a deposit you know what well, brother here's your 5k i'm not gonna keep it uh uh you could keep it as a lock-in or we can get your 5k back oh, oh. and reach to another dog yeah that's it's bad simple but you oh, got twitch on it you got twitch on the scene so oh it's man. mr easy oh, for young yeah twitch was young uh, twitch is young yeah so where, no. where did where did uh twitch come at in uh uh gringo's breeding like where did, was he towards the latter end or was he man when twist was born right i have pictures up to this day and i'm gonna post i'm gonna give them to you nice um me and my wife laura have birth, had got together you know we've been we've been working we've been uh steady dedicating our lives to the dogs which is shit. Uh -huh. and i have pictures of me on the floor with Twix as a baby, and I'm over here face down. The dog is way over there. The other one's way over there. But it was dedication. Yeah. And I was yeah. on the floor. I was getting to it. I was making sure they're good. Yeah. You know? And Twix, Twitch, yeah. when it's funny because this is very important. Uh, when Twix was young, I had all the hype from the United Kingdom. Uh, I shipped out semen over there. Uh -huh. you know, shout out to the UK. He was already okay. sipping gringo semen. I was sipping. Okay. Over siege. Not only that, I was freezing semen and sending it to Australia. Uh, Shout out to Aspen for reproduction. She knows uh, all you. Uh, you know, we collected, uh, Gringo froze it up. She was there and she froze it up when she worked, used to work at Yorba. Now she's doing her thing. I'm very proud of you, Aspen. Uh, uh, big uh, shout out. Yeah. yeah. And um, yeah, we shipped it to Australia, 5,000 a piece. It was 20 breedings and I got cashed out. Damn. Yeah, the man came from Australia and we wrote up a contract and he cashed me out, you know? Wow, 20 breedings. Those breedings, that's done. Yeah, yeah. 
But what was the question? We got way so, out of time. So, no, no, no. No, so that, that was that was leading into it, man. So, yes. Ringo, he's sipping overseas. Okay, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I know. So, now we are, okay. we, we're, we're, we're coming Twix. into the Twix area. Yes. yes. You know what I mean? Twix Ringo is done. It's four, he's four years old. Oh. Twix is how old? Oh, man. Okay, so when Twix was born, uh, I started seeing him evolve. Like, I've bred English Bulldogs now for, for a minute while well, at right. that time. Uh -huh. And I was like, man, this fuck is different. Uh, His head shape is so round and yeah. compact. You know, like, like a bullet. That huge bone. I'm yeah, like, damn, this dog is special. And he was a full suit chocolate trimurum. So when he came out, I had a deal with this guy for $80,000. Cool, right? So $80,000, um, we had agreed uh, with Twix and everything. So as he got older, obviously I'm a man of my word, good business. So I'm like, hey, your dog is, is ready to go. That shit hurt me, you know? I'm like, man, it is what it is. I'm a man of my word, here's your dog. So the man, he didn't come through in his ass. Ooh. So I'm like, deep inside, I'm like, I'm like, damn, bro, you okay? But at the same time, I'm like, yeah, thank you. Like, it, was, it was a blessing in disguise, baby. You know, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, oh, snap. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yes. Oh, so, wow, well, see, see, that deal didn't come through. But I was still a man of my word. Right, so Twix ended up staying. He stays home. Yes. He and is. then now Twix is on the scene. He's the man. He's on the scene. Because you know what? For a long time, man, just doing a lot of research, you know, studying the game, you know, I, I was like, yo, it's the Twix line. Right. So I would go on Instagram and they look up Twix line. Yeah. And then, you know, but it's LA exotic. And you know what I'm saying? So like that. Yeah, that. like I was the confuser. Like you said right. Twix line, but it's LA exotic. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. Uh-huh. So I was saying, like, you know, back then it was just a little confusing to like know exactly where it came because Twix was so big. It was so it's big. like he overshadowed the name so LA Exotic. So when do you remember? Twix hitting the scene. I remember that's where it's hitting the scene. Hey, tell him a little bit about and, that. And two thousand. Okay, I'm hyping it up. Nah, we can jump <laughs> in it. We can jump in it, man. You, you already know, Mr. International, man. Uh, a little bit of mine. I was uh, breeding, you know, XLs, and I had some issues with my XLs, the Gotti line, Genghis Khan line. You know what I'm saying? Uh, old dogs, uh, kennels. You know what I mean? Uh, like Honey Bear and things of that nature, and Compton and East Side Monster, and West Side Monster. You know, those types of dogs have some issues. So this is about 2018, right? Right. And right. Uh, so I'm like, you know what? I'm done breeding. And then my boy, shout out to my guy, Colorful Bulldogs, Davion. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? He had jumped in. Good people, man. Uh, he, had been, he had been already dabbling with the Bulldogs. Right. And he right. was like, bro, you know, uh, I just did this crazy breeding with this crazy ass Merle <laughs> Bulldog. Shout out. And I'm like, word. And I was like, yo, man, you know what I'm saying? I like, I already been been through it with the with the XLs. I'm coming off a bad lick with the breeding shit. So I'm cool. He like, look, bro, I'm gonna shoot you some love. You know, get some crazy fire in your hand off this line. So this is 2018. Yeah. 2000 going into 2019. I remember that day. And uh man, he she showed me the litter mm -hmm. off of Twix. Well, he showed me Twix first. All right. And I was like, what the fuck? I was like, yo, I've never seen a bulldog that looked like this. Yeah, yeah. So it's like 2018, late 2019. Yeah. And then I go over there and I make my pick, Cognac. Wherever you at in the world, if you out there in the world, man, y'all see I'm sitting here with the man himself that helped me produce Cognac, man. I miss you, I love you. But that boy was something crazy special. Phil, nothing short from, you know what I'm saying, the line, you know, right. that's why I'm honored to be here you know, the big up. So right. around 2018, 19 is when I really started no, noticing man, Twix who and Twix was uh, as a dog, you know what I'm saying? And in the bulldog game, cause that's when right. I turned back in. Yeah, yeah, more definitely. You know, so they, he's hitting. They, these good people, man. Uh, and that's another, uh, that's another key thing. Uh, a lot of people bred to my boy. I'm not gonna say they were the best females out there. But just know that you have to take the right female to the right stud to pre to create the right the right product, you know, the right puppy, the right litter. Mm -hmm. And and Diamond, she's a very nice female, and that's how uh, Big D came out with uh, Mula, mm -hmm. Mula, and then Mula. Little Pony Eggs brother. Yeah, you know, yeah. and 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 you know, I just thank you for everything, bro. man. Thank, thank you once thank again, you bro. Man, man, I love it. I love it, man. We yeah. got some some nice business. Hey, this dude was like a kid at Christmas last night. Yeah. He couldn't even sleep. He texted me all night. All Make night. sure everything ready. We gotta yeah. have it right for my boy. Yeah, yeah. man. Yeah. We gotta have it right for my boy. Yeah. Gus gotta come heavy. It's for the whole EB game. Go, go. Superior, baby. Let's get it. Go, and we made it happen. You know, um. 
Um, we, we freed up our schedule. Yep. My phone's off for the first time in about six years. Yeah. 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 Right here. Exactly. This man network. ain't turned down his phone in over six years. Yeah. This is the first time. Yeah. But it's not enough, with man. We honored, bro. So that's the, so. Twitch coming out, you know. Uh, yes. Following up after Gringo, right? You know what I'm saying. You got success in the bully bully game. Okay. You know what you're doing now, right? How do you hit the game with Twix? Man, Twix, he was just such a unique dog. You know, mm. uh, Twix was not only I loved him because of the way his structure and DNA was. It was because he's he's a he's a very nice well-behaved dog you know can i get a can i get a refill hell yeah yeah, Let's go. <laughs> yeah shout out to my boy nick nick you know he's pretty much a big uh, a big part of my program he's a huge backbone my my know? guy and and he's rocking with me bro yeah sometimes you don't see the vision yeah but once the vision is put together he'd be like damn does yeah you are right you're you right and, and sometimes you need that bro you need a vision to go ahead and yeah. move forward in this game uh -huh. Even in life in general, you need to have a goal. You need to see. You need to see yourself in ten years. You yeah, know? facts. That's a fact. That's so, a fact. Back back into what you were saying about right. Twitch, bro. Twitch. Yes, yeah. Sir. Yes, sir. So you jumped off, man, right after uh, Green Goes Run. Oh yeah. You yeah, know yeah. what I mean? Now we so got when Twitch came out, it was a blessing for myself and, and and for Green Go as well because he could chill out. You know, yeah. <laughs> he like, oh man, I can get chill, chill out. <laughs> and and under, my son, under, yeah, yo, under Green Goes Belt. There is about 135 um, registered AKC breedings, Ooh. you know, and those are those are registered AKC breedings for all the people that did good business, you know, 135. And for all the people that did me dirty or are oh my female didn't hit, yeah, it's probably even more. Right, you know, right, 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 right. Most importantly, as long as my customers are happy, and uh, for all the people doing good business, shout out to you guys. You know, I I know I spend big money with other breeders and um i try to do the correct thing yeah you know that's what's up hit, here's your video bro here's everything um um i spend money with you so i mean i did yeah. you know I, I i pretty much i'm looking forward to the repeat yeah and that's what i did all my people are repeat yeah obviously obviously you can't have everybody happy right but about 90 percent of my my clients that's what is happy that's what people sure. don't understand man we 90 percent lies bro of your game is going to be repeat yes. you know customers because they believe and trust it yes sir in the yes, scene sir. so now we got uh uh twitch on the line bro right oh uh, right. who is that dog that's in competition with Twix. Oh, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> who's who's sitting, you know what I mean? Yeah. Next to Twix, like, look, bro, I'm out here doing my shit, too. Stack it up. Who are you stacking it up with when Twix is on the scene? Oh, man. Okay, so now that was the time when, uh, that was the time when, uh, you know, the Merles were out there more. Because yeah. obviously some years have passed. People have used my dogs. Yeah. And... Um, during that time, there was this dog named Designer. Mm. You know, uh, Louis Hernandez owned him, mm -hmm. and he was pretty much uh, he was putting it down, bro. Like, yeah, he was also making it happen. You know, yeah. I'm not sure if he still breeds, right? You know, but um, it's a lot of take in, bro. This game yeah. is a lot of take in. It is, like I said, and I sacrificed a lot of things, a lot of family events, and um, we're still here. Yeah, oh, yeah. So, wow, so you, you mentioned designer. I right. want to mention uh, uh, California Chrome. Chrome, yeah. Yeah. What about what about Chrome and Chrome? Was that that's around the same time as Chrome Junior, right? You know what I'm saying? Yes. Yeah. Uh, that was, it was yeah. Uh, two different markets. You right. Know? It's two different markets. Two different got markets. you. Got uh, you. Chrome. Chrome really put it down. Uh -huh. He put a stamp in the game, and I actually bought top caliber females that had a Chrome blood to mm. incorporate mm. that. Why? Because yeah. I'm not blind to myself. Right. And right. And a lot of breeders right. are blind to themselves because they just want their own blood and that's it. But hey, hey, uh, and if, if uh, somebody else, uh, somebody has quality, you can't lie to yourself. You got to incorporate that, you know, and that's mm -hmm. where I see the investments coming in. Like, okay. okay, let me incorporate the chrome blood. Uh, another blood I incorporated was um, uh, the Jennings blood, mm -hmm. you know, in Texas. Yep. Uh, to try to get more more uh more overdone yeah. with color. That's yep. what it's all about. And I and 
I feel like I got something for you guys. Hell yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, hey, so with that being said, man, we'll take a little short break. Yeah. You know what I mean? Stand up, stretch. You know, things are going great. Here with Mr. L.A. Exotic himself. Yes, sir. Gustavo, man. Mr. Twist Line himself, man. Thank we'll be right back here, to bro. y'all, man. Appreciate Thank you for being here, bro. Yeah. Sure. We'll come back in a quick five. Yeah, take a little break, man. Yeah, I, I, this motherfucker, I'm gonna chat. Man, hey, that's too much info. What? <laughs> what? Too much info to take in that one time. Let's go. So we back, man. Your boy, Mr. International Whip. Right. Mr. Gustavo, Mr. LA Exotic, man. And, and, and he has a special guest for yes, us to, to bring out, man. Go on and introduce your guy, man. Man, check this out, man. This this man right here, his name is Frenchie Splo. His name is Nico. He is the major key to this program. Come He's on, the bro. one that made it happen, yeah. man. Shout out to my boy Nico, man. Yes, sir. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk yeah. your shit, Nico. Nico. What's good, man? What's good, man? Have Take a seat, seat brother. Take a seat. Yeah, man. Talk to him. Talk Let me get some. Let me get some. Hold <laughs> on. Only... There you go. There we go. Uh, yeah. Like you said, bro. Tell them how it is, how this lifestyle is, how customer service are very afforded. Hard. It's hard at times. Uh -huh. You don't want to get up and keep shit. Yeah. They tell you the 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 what the, the good things, you know that. Uh -huh. Then I tell you what's really going on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How long how long y'all been been down with each other, man? And, uh, it's funny because uh, we've known each other for about a year and a half. Uh -huh. But we have so much in common, you know. Yeah. He's uh, he's Colombian and my wife is Colombian. Nice. And I guess uh, real recognize real. That's how I go. Uh, salute this whole life. Salute to that. <laughs> So um, yeah. real, recognize real. Um, my boy has shown me a lot of things, uh, a lot of loyalty. Yeah, you know, a lot of like let's let's make things happen. Or sometimes I'd be like, damn, bro, I don't, I don't, I'm not feeling it today. Because obviously we're human beings, but yeah, the breeders. And sometimes you're not feeling it. Uh huh. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. Nico, Nico, with the uh, with the breeding thing, man, you you. You Gus is right here, and Gustavo's right here, man. That's yes. a that's an honor in itself, bro. Right. You know, to come in the game like that, man. What what is your forte? Are you more of a specific breed? Or are you just in it for the breeding? And was, I'm still a student. Uh -huh. Still very. Uh, yeah. So you just in the game overall. You love the game. That's yeah. what's up, dog. He sees, uh, he sees the vision. Yeah. And I told him straight up, like, bro, if you really want to get into the dogs. It's gonna be a lot of dedication. Yeah, and we're showing them the way. You know, um, our love. You know, genuine love. Yeah. Uh, um, just, just genuine person. You know, and, mm -hmm. and and we have the same vision, same goal. You know, to create something that a lot of people enjoy and value and appreciate. And I know you said you've been knowing them only for a year and a half, but yes. when you got that much in common, it's like you guys have right. been knowing each other a lifetime. That's oh, like man. me and this dude, you know what yeah, I mean? Exactly. We 10 years, but people think yeah. we brothers. Like, man, y'all 20 yeah. years strong in this shit, yeah. man. Yeah, right. We coming right. hard, you know? That's, that's a fact, but man. for right. us, it was, it was him having the vision with the dogs and uh -huh. me already being behind the camera with, you know, if not the biggest breeder in the game, one yeah. of the biggest breeders in the game, you know? Shout and me, George. yeah, yeah I, I'm, I'm like- about the same person? Like yeah. we gotta have somebody who's shining a light on the game, and that's what I wanted to bring with the Exotic Network. And it Most was, definitely. it was, it was me seeing, me being in rooms with guys like you, right, and uh, guys like George, and you guys are talking. I'm like, bro, the world needs to hear this. <laughs> yeah. It's not even that you guys are saying yeah. no. You guys ain't even giving them no major game, but it's right. like you know, just it's major game. It's, yeah. it, but it's major to somebody who's in that game who exactly. wants to get exactly. in that game. You know what I mean? Yeah, like just to be able to see guys. that you guys are normal people, right. because sometimes you feel so big to life that it's almost. I never thought it, I was it, it, exactly. Right. You know, like just having a twig son. Right. I'm like, there's no way I'll ever meet this dude. Like, you you can recall, like, yeah, I was in, in my bro's DM. You know what I'm saying? With, with uh, Cognac as a puppy, like, man, what you think about him? Right. You know, do it, do it. And one day I'll never forget, bro. He hit me back, right, and was like, bro, you follow me. You yeah. follow me back on Instagram, and then you was like, hey, bro, he has a very unique color and he's tight. You know, it's all yeah, about your bro. picture angles yeah, and stuff yeah, like that. You know? And dog, I must have like went to my lady, like, babe, babe, look. look <laughs> he just hit me, me back. I'm at work, dog. I'm like, yo, 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 the homie. Uh, man, look, man, you know what I mean? This one of the yeah. biggest breeders, so that's that's dope, man. That's, that's, that's dope that you're still able to uh, relate and you know touch people, you know, yeah. like like the way that you touch Mr. International. We're all humans, and bro, we, uh, I 
you remember where you came from. Anybody, right. You know, I always try to show the support, especially like just letting everybody know that anybody can make this happen with right. the right effort. Yeah, you got to have drive. Because, uh, people hit me up and tell me, oh, can you tell Dustin to follow me back? Like, <laughs> <laughs> Wait, <laughs> hey, so you get it like me. I get the, hey, could you tell George to unblock me? Yeah. <laughs> 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 Like it's difficult not to uh, just to ignore a lot of people, you know. Yeah. And, and when you get to that level, you'll be like, "Damn, you know what? This guy's talking pure nonsense. He's being very negative. Yeah. Like I don't need this in my life. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I try to help him out and try to fix the situation, and sometimes they don't work out. Some people are not like like they're so close-minded. You know what I'm saying? So I want to jump right back into it, yeah. man, because you know we want to get to the meat and potatoes of this situation. So we got Twix out there, man, me too. We got Twix out there, man, he's doing stuff, he's, right. you know what I'm saying, he's going in, he's dropping okay. letters, you know, it's a couple of dogs out there that uh -huh. that's on his plane, right. you right. know what I'm saying? Tell me about some of the ups and the downs that were different from breeding with Twix and Gringo. Uh, man, you know, Twix has always, has always been a, um, just a stronger dog, you know? <laughs> Um, I guess we, we breed to improve, yeah. like health and structure and everything. And I feel like Twix is a very, very strong and healthy dog. Right, right. You know? So um, he pretty much like, sometimes we even have to pull on three times a day. Uh -huh. And in that three times a day, I had seven people to take care of, you know? Uh -huh. And it sounds like, oh, this guy's just, he's just tripping, you know? Like how yeah. could he do that? But you only need a hundred and like eighty million sperm cells to get a female pregnant. Yeah. So there was times Twix threw way too much. Yeah. And it made sense. I'm not gonna scam nobody or nothing. Yeah. Like here's your count, here's your semen, and boom, 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 boom. Man, oh, here's on the microscope, here's everything, and everything was yeah. legit, you know? Yeah. So Twix was a blessing to myself and Gringo once again. I'm mm -hmm. playing that again. Mm -hmm. So what what were some of the other dogs in your kennel at the time? Oh, that, man. That yes. Twitch was popping. I mean, I know, but let's let the world know. Man, okay. So I had Damu. He's a Damu. A ten. He was on yeah. Polak, which Polak, I actually made the investment myself, and I flew. Uh -huh. He flew to China yeah. myself. Oh, yeah. With uh, a passport and everything. Yeah. And I was in China, and I made the deal yeah. happen. Wow. Out okay. the hood. Out of yeah. L.A., baby. Yeah, out of South Central. South Central. Central. Flew to China. China. That's right. What? Hey. I FaceTimed the homies, and they couldn't believe it. That's what I'm going to tell you. Beijing. When oh, I went to China, you that's to China yeah, anymore? yeah. I've been out there three times. Whole different story. Bro. Hey, bro. Different right world, when you bro. get off the plane, you know you somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> I done been to Mexico so many times. I done been fucking all around the world. It was when I got off the plane in China, I realized you're not you're not nowhere close to home. Once you land in China, right? Not even the sky. Looks yeah. <laughs> that shit right. crazy, bro. I'm telling you. Right when you get off the plane, you look, you realize like yeah. you on another planet. Like you that's what it feels planet, like. Bro. The sky is a different color. The food is like, damn, I got food poisoning and I had to be hospitalized. Yeah, I'm out there. It wasn't all out there. Were you out there in there? I tried not bad. I on the on the Damu run to get Damu? No, no, to get Polak. No, to get Polak. Polak, yeah. Polak was probably the best. Lilac tribe Merle from a different different bloodline and everything. Mm. And I'm not like I said, I'm not blind, bro. If there's something that's nicer than your stuff, you can't be blind. You have to incorporate. Right, right. And I know how to incorporate. I feel like people's pride is so high, like they'd be like, nah, fuck that. Or fuck that for word. Like, I can create that. Shit. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, like nah. So listen, like listen, that. I got a question for right. you. Cause this hasn't been done that I know of in the bulldog realm. How do you feel about cloning? Cloning, damn. Let's like, go honestly, there. Come on. Man. Have you thought about it at Have least? Was it a thought? This is that time. You know what I mean? <laughs> this is a very personal question. Yeah. Uh, you know, and I'm going to let, I'm gonna, I feel like this is a place to say it. And I feel like there's the right people and it's pure, like, genuine information, you know? And I feel like the world's supposed to know this. Um, so the Twix I'm promoting right now, he's a Twix son. He's uh -huh. Twix 2.0. Uh, and I bought him out for of Rachel out of um, Mississippi. Uh -huh. You know, uh, I'm sorry. Why did I say that? It's by Oklahoma. Uh, you know, and um, the reason why I bought him was because the original Twix had passed away on me. Oh, wow. 
Yeah, rest oh wow, Twigs. Rest in peace, Big Twigs, man. Y'all heard it here first. Yeah, man. yes, sir. L.A. Exotic, Big Twigs has yeah. passed away, man. Yes, uh, you know the public doesn't know that, man. This the is public the, doesn't know that at first. Was, this is this is a place to say it because I feel like my people man, there's love, bro. man. It's all love, fam. Love, bro. Yeah, always, bro. I wish I wish I would have known why that the cloning was possible because uh huh. I mean, there's no amount of money that uh, to spend for genuine love right you now so when george came out with this this was like damn bro my boy really went like the whole nine yards like you could really do this so now i'm definitely in the works you know Ooh. i contacted george about the same thing and, and we got something going on yes oh hey, hey. hey legends never die though oh hey, wait hey legends hey, never die legends I did the never die maybe you feel me <laughs> legends <laughs> never die yeah. so we got twitch 2.0 right on the scene that boy is working man rest in peace to kill what is he breaking my nose Stop to the man to the to the one himself man big yeah. twitch man you already know it man throw up them tees man boy it's crazy for the for the bulldog game, man, yeah, and, and he's blessed us with his son 2.0. And, and our own legacy, yeah. Our own legacy. Oh my god. Our whole oh my god. Our whole um, our hashtags, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. A whole damn hashtag for his life. Your favorite for stud, life. stud. Yeah. You did. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Sir. Your favorite and, stud, uh, stud. Uh, uh, man, when that event happened, uh, my wife, she pretty much told me, "You see what I was trying to tell you? Yeah. I mean, other events had happened, but it just hit me like, damn." It's like, what? Like, I can't believe it. And and people are going to say, oh, how did it happen and this and that? And I mean, nobody needs to know. It's even a pleasure for them knowing that I already told them. Yeah, 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 for sure. And that's when she told me, like, yo, Gus, you know, the dog game is beautiful and everything, but it's time to invest it in another investment. And right, like, right. What are you talking what, about? What are some of those investments, bro? Wait, wait, wait let him get yeah, into it. Don't yeah. cut my man off again. I'm, I'm trying to get to the about? money. I'm trying to get Man, it's tequila. Hear that, bro. Ah. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to put everybody tough. on game. This, this is very uh, important information. Well, um, this is a, a size dogs, you know? But I feel like, like us youngsters, like there's a lot of people that don't show knowledge about this, uh, that they don't have the right like I told you in the beginning, they don't have the right mentorship. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to tell you one thing. Humans die. Dogs die. But guess what? Property never dies. Uh, okay, check this out. Uh, you heard it first, man. The real estate mogul. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Yes, sir. So uh, property never dies. And, and that's the thing. My wife, Laura, she's the one that taught me. So thank God uh, with the amount of money we made with Gringo and Twigs. We were, we were able to, I was able to wake up and pretty much invest that money into real estate. Mm. And that's the reason why I have eight houses in Colombia that are paid off. Thank mm. God. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Amen to that. Clap that up, man. Big shout out, bro. Yeah, you know, we have eight properties in Medellin. We have mm. properties in Cancun. Shout out to my boy Paul. Mm. I own Bellagio. Mm. Cancun. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Bellagio, yeah. That's where Bellagio at? Uh, wait, what? Uh, no, Bellagio is here. Right. You know, live and direct. You're finna see this yeah. only in the exotic <laughs> network. Let's go. Let's, let's go, go. Let's go. Let's go. Yo. Um, yeah, shout out to Paul. You know, he does real estate in Mexico and he mm. put me on game. And it's genuine information, genuine love. You know, um, I got properties in Rosarito. Mm. Um, and most importantly, in the United States. Yeah, 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 yeah. Big land, yeah, 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 yeah. that's the plan. Yeah. Big uh, land, yeah. man. So is that something that you're gonna keep continue to invest in? Is it most how, how has the real estate market been for you since you jumped in it? Is it just uh, been a blessing in it? I mean, it's like a roller coaster, you know, but this is very important information, like I said. Yeah. Every person, every family, well mostly every family, is being born every day. There's a baby being born every day, mm -hmm. you know? And guess what? And guess what? People need somewhere to live. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? People need somewhere to expand their family. I mean, you know, some people live in apartments and they'd be like, oh, expand your dog kennel. Hey, expand your dog kennel. <laughs> that's what we do. Yeah, that's what we do. We, yeah. we, build, we, we build buildings. We have, we have, you know, sky rises in Colombia, thank God. And, and and they move in for a better future. Yeah, you know? nice. Yeah. So let's run down so that wait, stud wait, wait, lineup. Real quick, real quick, before you get to the stud lineup, this where is about your real favorite estate. property? <laughs> real estate. Where's your favorite? Yeah, you're yeah. taking a mom. Yeah, where's your you favorite property <laughs> besides the one that you have here in the United States? It has to be Medellin, Colombia. 
and 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 I'm gonna say it real fast, bro. Just two minutes. Um, just a, a better living, uh, uh, more of a uh, just better better food intake. There's no steroids on the food like that, and there's no there's no hormones, you know. And yeah. and the medicine is more natural. Yeah. Something mm-hmm. that. Right, yeah, we don't really have it. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Part two going hard yeah, yeah, yeah. Columbia. Part two. Yeah. Hey. yeah. Part two part going hard Columbia. Columbia. Yeah, yeah, you learn to find the nature. The yeah. nature. Hey, yeah. nature is key. That's nature is key. You know, uh, just just having your kids grow up in a different environment is beautiful. But well, we could talk about that later, man. Let's do it. Part two. Part two. Yeah. So let's run through the stud lineup right now. Stud lineup. You know what I'm saying? So we have Twist 2.0. He's currently close to the public. If you uh, spend money with me and you've been real and everything, you're more than welcome to use them. Mm-hmm. You know, um, uh, we have Bellagio, same thing. You know, he's close to the public. Mm-hmm. I feel like they need to be close because they more than prove right. what they needed to prove. Mm-hmm. You know, and I've been... I I've always break- wanted to hear that from a breeder. Like, what yeah. makes you close a dog? Like, <laughs> I've seen gimmicks. Right. You know, like I'm about to close them just yeah. to get the to and, get and everybody to really get the lock in. It is a strategy and um and I, I took a break for about a year and a half because we need to go ahead and catch up with our lives ourselves, you know? We're all human beings. And and right now I've been in the lab for a year and a half and I'm more than comfortable to say that you guys got something coming. <gasps> So let's let's talk a little bit about that, man. Let's wait, wait, wait. Before we go into that, right? Because I gotta ask you this question. That's like, and it's a it's a it's a running question that I ask pretty much every breeder, man. What do you think about them coming back in the game with the quote unquote hybrids, right? They're taking the direct EB to a bull and they're calling it a hybrid. What's your outtake on that, like you I know? Mean, like I said, um. Every breed, every every um, every dog has been mixed with something. Right. Right. It could be for the look, for the bone, and this and that. And that's what we're here for to better the breed. Mm-hmm. So myself, I mean, I've done I've done a lot of a lot of uh, I'm not gonna say experiments, mm-hmm. but pretty much to better the breed. Mm-hmm. And I have. I have something very nice for you guys. So excited, very nice. Can we get an exclusive? Can we get an exclusive? Right. Can we get an exclusive? Network. That's what I'm talking about. Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking talking about. about. Like these cats saying, like, like they're, like just, obviously you've been breeding for a decade. Like, Uh, it's just silent. It's it's silent. Yeah. Because we've been working. We've been working. You know, because it's fine to breed, like, to a bulldog. I mean, it's fine. But guess what? Right. It's not the finished product. It's not. Has not. Right. Everybody thinking that they finna reach the That's full dog my point. Yes. That I'm trying to get to. And like it's not a secret, bro. Everybody's been breeding to a bulldog yeah. before the Merle. Right. Right. But they don't bring them out because it's not the finished product. It's not the finished product. Yes. That's got I worry to get at. This right. man said it here. The first <laughs> one to actually say it. Like <laughs> it's a process. You yeah. know what I'm mean? saying? Yeah. And when and when you have you see a flex on me right now. Yeah. You see a flex on me right now. When you have put them down. You have the proper components. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You exactly. can get closer to that right. quote unquote perfect dog that you're yeah. chasing, right? Yeah. We're always going to be chasing that perfect dog. But right. Don't discredit this man because he got going on what he got going on and he got going on. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Like, I may need to come back and touch, touch bases with you. You know, and I'm, I'm going to come to you and say, hey, keep this breeding confidential because it's going to create what I need to create with him. And, and this is what? where I want the focus what? point. That's what we got. That's what we got, man. And hey. so, like, you know, they send the hybrid, so it just kind of throws me off because it's like now you're putting a category on it. Yeah. It's like, this is a hybrid. Like, bro, it's a bully. Like, and it's cool that it's a bully. Yeah. You know, it's cool that you're going directly back to an EB, but now it's like you, I mean, I'm not knocking you because maybe that's yeah. a new yeah. uh, 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 marketing mm-hmm. avenue, per se. You know what I mean? You're trying to create your own lane, like, Oh, this not a movie. This a hybrid. I'm, like, like, yeah. I'm just being authentic and letting everybody know that the truth. You know, like it, yeah. it's facts. You know, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I want to thank uh, George from the Bully Camp for letting me uh, use Lemon Drop. You know, very. This not exclusive that you was talking about. Let's do. Let's get there. Let's get there, baby. Let's, let's start it over. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> man, real yeah. quick. This is gonna take two minutes. Shout out to my boy Rango Micro Exotics uh-huh. for uh, allowing me to buy a fat boy 
mixed with uh, Little Rango blood. If you guys don't know Little Rango, this goes way back. This is the reason I bought her because it got Shifu, right? If you guys don't know, Shifu's off of Batman. Batman is off of Bolo. Bolo's of the Reg Miyagi son. Mm -hmm. You know, obviously, you know, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you got all the sauce, right? And it also has Cowboy, which it has bait. Uh -huh. And it also has Queen Victoria, which has some very nice blood. And it also goes to Bono and the Miyagi blood oh. with their own songs, oh. right? right, right, right. That Listen to <laughs> Pay attention. Game, game, game. Yes, sir. And then I bred, right, my female. I bred it to Lemon Drop. Mm. He got Future, Miyagi, mm. uh, all, all, all the blood. You know, I got Monroe down there. If y'all don't know mm. Monroe, I used to own her too. Monroe and um okay okay pretty much this too much info for you guys she's that boy in the so I I read some them and drop and then I got a female she's a Merle super amazing female and yeah. guess what I bred it to crown boom yes sir I bred it boom. to crown he's all with his feet with yeah. banana, little yeah. mayo, all that yeah. in the background. So yeah. I feel uh, like I'm getting close to, so listen, to bringing listen. out the sauce. Be, hey, before, <laughs> hey, listen, listen. Before the sauce, before the sauce is revealed, yes. this is a portion of the show that we haven't got into, Bam. but we're gonna create right here. We want you to be able to tell us who you would like to see on the exotic network. Oh man. Yeah. Right? But but wait, I don't want you to go, don't go too far because you right. gotta help us get them. Right. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? It <laughs> so might be a homie. Be, it might hey, not be a homie. So it's going to be like a secret thing. Yeah. Exactly. It's going to be for the people exactly. to be like, damn, what does yeah. got going on? Yeah. Yeah. What beast was got going yeah. on? Yeah. 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 You know? What my boy at? Mr. Yeah. International. Exactly. exactly. And, and, and that's what it's all about. Keeping people on their toes. Yeah. You know, keeping keeping this hype up because this is real hype. It's yeah. a genuine hype, you know? Yeah. Letting people uh, just 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 bringing out the, the most important information out of you. Yeah. You know? That's what the breeders need. That's Not what the, the new Not breeders need. So is this boy, is this 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 crown the uh, lemon drop? The uh, sun coming. Is it a sun? Wait, 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 wait. What is it? Hold on. He said a boy. He said a boy. He said a boy. Yeah, he said a boy. He said a boy. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, it's, it was the drink. You got, I got hey, the drink. Right. Yeah, you got me. Got, got it. Damn, bro. Hey, 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 are we, 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 we going to see it at Bully Expo 7? Yes, sir. Ooh. It's coming out. And not, not, only that, that, not only that, it's yeah. going to be... Is gonna be coming out from the Exotic Network. Let's so go. If y'all wanna see this boy, y'all yeah. better follow the Exotic yeah. Network. Fuck baby. Let's, go. Let's, Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, baby. You heard it first right here, man. man. You heard it first, man. Yeah, right. Plus, man, What's we good? appreciate you love it, for love having it. us here. Yes, in most the definitely. LA Exotic's bro. house. Yes. Beautiful home. Thank you, we brother. We love what you're doing. Thank you. Um, Thank you so much. All the advice, the game that you dropped today is, is priceless. Thank you. You know bro. what I mean? We really, really. From the bottom of our hearts, appreciate mm. you allowing us to come into your home, you know what right. I mean, and doing this interview with us. Because I know, like you said, you ain't turned your phone off in six years. That's big. Man, six years, bro. That's crazy. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah. There's the, a lot I, of people. Like, yeah. I tell people all the time, I'm the most famous broke nigga you ever going to meet. <laughs> <laughs> but it's coming. You know what I mean? The back is, is it's, it's on it's the way. Coming. And, and that's the reason I'm here, because... Man, I could see, I could see people's goals, you know. Yeah. And I've seen your goals since day one. We tried, and it man. started We're with 500 followers. Yeah. You know, and right now it's going up, yeah, it's going and up. it's it's the dedication, bro. It's a dedication you put into it, you know. Yeah. Nobody knows the beautiful setup you got, mm -hmm. and nobody knows the amazing cameras you have to spend bread on, yeah. the stands, yeah. and the gas coming here, mm -hmm. and the traffic heading to people's houses. Mm -hmm. I mean, it takes a lot of that, and people don't get to appreciate that. Yeah. And I feel like you guys are doing an amazing job. Bro. And I'm on phone editing. Yeah. <laughs> when I first, they were setting up, and my boy was giving out the preview. I'm like, God damn, this was really, <laughs> like, they're really into it. Like, I even got scared myself. Yeah. But now, as we break the ice, we're talking about our daily lives. They're talking about our business. Yeah. And, and, and I feel good about and it. And that's the one thing that I want you breeders out there to get to know is like, we're not here trying to bust nobody out. We're wow. here to better the game. Yes. We're here to bring knowledge and information knowledge, to knowledge. the game. And you that's know what, what I mean? people are like, missing. My, one of my closest homies is George. Right. And I tell George all the time when he looks at me, he's like, Ant, why are you doing this? And I said, because there's a kid that's out there that's going to be the next you. 
And, and, and it, I want to be the guy that finds yeah. the next George Soto, the guy oh, yeah. that finds the next Gus. You and know what I mean? Out there, and and he's out. out there, and they're paying attention to what we're doing today for tomorrow. You know what I mean? And I pre- that's another reason why I appreciate you dropping the game. Right. You know I mean? Dropping knowledge and, on and, this And now, like, growing up in this uh, new generation, I'm not going to say I'm super old and I'm not super young, but there's a lot of distractions out there. Oh, yeah. You know, there's a lot of crazy stuff going on, and... Um, you know, a lot of drug abuse, you know, and everything. And and I feel like this is a perfect way to get your kids distracted. Like, he goes, dog. we bought this dog, this is our business, we're going to grow. And just keep them in there, like, preach, don't, brother. Like, don't, like, high school, bro, it's crazy. Yeah. I got my daughter in, in uh, our middle school, and, and she comes back and tells me this stuff, and I'm like, bro, like, like, no, you're good right here. Don't listen to them. Like, I, I'm, 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 like, raising you right, yeah. you know? Mm-hmm. But if you want to go ahead and decide to do that, like, that's not the right way. Yeah. So all the breeders out there, Matt, involve your kids mm-hmm. in this business because it's going to teach them responsibility. It's going to teach them uh, uh, dedication. And most importantly, it's going to teach them uh, the way of life. Yeah. yeah right down that because yeah. this is a lifestyle. Man, a responsible lifestyle. We appreciate you, the whole LA Exotic family, but Thank we you. want you to take this time to give any shout outs. Tell them where to man. find you if they don't already man, know. Oh, man. You know what I mean? Do your um, thing at the end of this thing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, um, you know, it takes a lot of people and a lot of knowledge and a lot of everything to be where I'm at. You know, I got to give a shout out most importantly to my wife, Laura. She pretty much changed my lifestyle. I was fighting the case and she never, she never looked back. Like, you mm. got this, you know, my paperwork's good. Thank God. Mm. I want to give a shout out to my boy, Corey mm. from Coalition Bulldogs. Um, a lot of people, you know, I don't really be tagging them, but he's my boy. Like, he's there for me whenever I need him. Shout out to my boy, George from Esquadron. Mm. We've been, we've been dealing with a lot of things. We've been trying to create the new, the new thing. My boy Nico, yeah. look at him, look at him. Let's do it. He's camera shy, but you know, like he knows I got love for him. I fuck with him. Shout out to my blood brother Alex. You know, he's he's been a big support. Me and him are, you know, he knows I love him. Mm-hmm. You know, shout out to my mom. Like man, just a lot of people, bro. Yeah. You know, and 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 I just want to thank you guys for allowing. Well, pretty much for you guys coming to my house. Thank you. Uh, my house is your house, and I just want to thank you guys, man. man. Thank you guys. Thanks, bro. Thanks, bro. Brother, Ooh. man, big, big ass, bro. Let's go, yeah, baby. I know what you guys yeah, got going man. on, Appreciate bro. Yeah. Okay? Thank you. Yeah. And, you know, just shout out to everybody, man. Let's get it. Yes, go. Let's go. Bro. Y'all heard it here first, <laughs> man. Your boy, Mr. International, with Mr. The Exotic Network, with... Mr. Nico and our guy, the man himself, yes, LA man. Exotics, Gustavo Twixline. It's your boy, Mr. International, here on the Exotic Network, baby. T E N, baby. Ten toes in. Shout out to all my cone and shit, my boy Manium. Yeah. Man, it's just so many, bro. Like, if I'm gonna shout you out, don't feel no type of way. Don't get mad. No, me, I'll fuck with you. Yo, and you guys know that. And right now, kind of tipsy, but you know, hey, but just appreciate life, man. Appreciate all the dedication. We appreciate everybody out there. We out.